Our next presenter also comes from Organizational Leadership, Policy, and Development. Please welcome Leonard Taylor. Square peg, round hole. As I was preparing to engage with you all today, I was wrecking my brain trying to come up with a masterful articulation of the torrid complexities of higher education. This is what I came up with. Square peg, round hole. Now, if you were to ask a faculty member maybe 50 years ago, they might say something like, student success is student's responsibility. Today, scholars say it's institution's responsibility to take ownership of student success. Now the analogy. This square peg represents students, the whole higher education institutions. And the mallet off into the distance represents the tools and strategies that higher education institutions use to help students navigate. <laughs> On to my study. I set out to explore how faculty, administrators, and staff use research knowledge, best practice, and institutional data to improve their student success efforts. I did case studies at three different research institutions, similar to the University of Minnesota. I collected rich and descriptive data from in-person interviews and got a nuanced contextual understanding of each institution through document analysis. Well, what did I find? First, I found that the success of these programs and efforts to support student success was less about the research and theories that guided them and more about what these programs actually looked like once they navigated the bureaucracies of higher education. Second, I found that words spoke louder than actions. After interrogating the narratives using critical discourse analysis, I found that institutions had very robust commitments to student success, but were less capable delivering on those same commitments. This means that my research challenges higher education institutions to understand even when well-intentioned in doing student success work, their own structures and cultures have the ability to impede their efforts to support student success. As educators, we can re-envision higher education so that student success isn't an act of survival, much like this red pig trying to survive this hole but a delivery on a promise that we make to students when we admit them. We can stop forcing our students to navigate institutions that weren't designed for them. We can use the tools and resources at our disposal to change higher education institutions to fit around students' needs. But if we don't, square peg, round hole. <laughs>